Hello, my name is Walid Rabah and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I will show you how to find a resultant moment while using a solid mesh. For this example, I will be analyzing a very simple cantilever beam. So let's look at the static analysis which I have started earlier. We can see that I have a fixed face at one end of the beam, and at the free end, I have applied a 1000 Newton load. If we wanted to calculate the moment acting on the fixed face that is a resultant of this load, we would simply multiply that force by the perpendicular distance to the fixed face. Here we can evaluate that perpendicular distance as 0 0.33 meters. Therefore, 0 0.33 meters multiplied by 1000 newtons gives us a reactionary moment of 330 newton meters. So now that we know what to expect, let's see if we can get that same result using the software. If I right click my results folder and select list result forces, I can find the reactionary force acting on the fixed face by simply clicking on it. And then I'll select update. We can see the reactionary forces as well as the resultant force. However, we don't have a call out for the reactionary moment. This is because the nodes of a solid mesh only have three degrees of freedom, and those are the, the translational degrees of freedom. There are no rotational degrees of freedom, and therefore we cannot directly calculate the reactionary moment. However, if we select the free body forces instead, we can find the free body moment acting on that face. But we need two pieces of geometry. First is the face, the second is the point about which the moment will be calculated. So we'll need to add some reference geometry. Let's go back into the model and insert a reference point. I want this reference point to be at the center of the fixed face. So I will select the center of face option and select the fixed face. And there is our reference point. Now I can go back into the static analysis, into the results folder, and once again, list the free body forces. We can see that my point that I have just created has been pre-selected. Now I can select this, this, the fixed face and update. Now we can see a call out for the forces as well as the moments. And here we can see the resultant moment of 330 Newton meters, which is in agreement with the hand calculation that we did earlier. So just to summarize, in this video, I showed you how you can find a resultant moment while using a solid mesh. For more videos like this, please subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems channel. Thank you very much for watching.